Hello and assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are using the GeoGebra to solve uh, um, to solve uh, the linear uh, programming problem. Now let's talk about it. It's a very easy uh, software. For example, I have uh, an objective function uh, 55x plus uh, 89y with some constraints. The first of all, the constraint is the non-negativity one. That is, x and y are both greater than zero. So it means that we have to work in the first quadrant, and because uh, x and y both are uh, greater than zero, whenever you want to uh, put the constraints within the GeoGebra, you can input it from here. You just type in type in here, like for example, this is one of my constraint, 4x plus um, 18y, 18y is uh, uh, less than and equal to 1296 but uh, inequalities are not being dealt by GeoGebra so I will write equal to 1296 and then I enter and after entering you can see you can notice there is uh, there should be a line in the first point and I'm going to zoom it out in order to see that line okay so you can also uh, rearrange the screen like this and then we go for another an input of uh, inputting another constraint that is 12x plus 6y is uh, less than or equal to 18 24 um, yeah and the, there you go with another line now what you do is you take the intersection and the new uh, you can take a new point uh, by clicking it here and uh, and then you mark a point this is the intersection point this is another intersection point you will find them and uh, this is also an intersection point and this is what we selected uh, point uh, o any origin is because uh, uh, that this this is the origin and we'll make a polygon over here so creating a polygon of uh, c a b and c this is one area and then we go for another one this is c d e and uh, c again so now we have two uh, two triangles and the overlapping area you can see the visible region is here now that is actually the C A the C B D we can also put an intersection point over here not to make it easy right you can also change the properties of any point let me mark this as capital O and uh, let me let me mark this uh, triangle the polygon as uh, blue in color we can say whatever the color is is just to differentiate it and let this be for example red right so this the intersection uh, the, the the overlapping is actually showing us the physical region now in order to find out the objective function uh, and see on which point it is maximized so first of all we try the point d okay so for that what we do is we um, plug in our objective function and we want to find it on uh, point d so uh, let me write it like this it's 55x plus 89y so First, we write 55 static x of uh, x of d, right, and then we say 89 static x of uh, x of uh, sorry y of uh, d. So this will give me the value of point d. Well, when you put the point d values in the uh, objective function and by entering it gives the vd actually 6408 now let us notice it for for b and see 
what it gives for b so b b is then equal to 55 again and static x of uh, b plus uh, 89 static y of b and you enter there you go and it's maximum than the previous one now let's go for um, the point f which is the most probable one to have uh, uh, to ma to be maximizing the, the objective function of R. So this is Vf equal to again 55 static x of uh, f plus uh, 89 static y of uh, f. And here you go, you enter, and now you clearly see that you can uh, maximize your objective function by putting the values the putting the point f which is the optimal point with you so the optimal value of x in the objective function is 130.5 and the value optimal value for y in the objective function is 43 if you put x equal to 130.5 and if you put y equal to 43 then what you are going to do is you are maximizing your objective function which gives this value that's how you use the GeoGebra in order to find out a simple linear programming uh, optimization problem which was maximizing the objective function. And this is it all about.